Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Review Show with Ryan. I'm your host, Ryan. And today, we're going to look at what makes Travis Meek so special. He is my favorite artist of the 90s. That's the title of this video. And, um, yeah, pretty much. Also, happy birthday, Travis. You are 41 now. I, if you're watching this, uh, happy birthday. Betty's not watching this, but whatever. I'm going to share this on the Days of the New fan page on Facebook. So, uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> there. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Please enjoy this video and uh, have a super chill day. Let's get into this. So, I found Jade Bird, right? And Days of the New around the same time, like August, July of last year. And I've been listening to them ever since. Through Last FM, of course. If you want to follow me, it's a Ryan is cool one. Go stalk my charts if you want. A uh, really great website to find new music. Basically, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's designed for. Uh, so I found that because I was listening to a lot of Alice in Chains uh, last year uh, around uh, this time what, when I'm making the video. I think I was listening to a lot of, uh, jar, not Jar of Flies, uh, I think Dirt and um, Facelift. So they recommended me uh, Days of the New, and uh, I've been listening ever since. The best song by Travis Meeks, in my opinion, is Seasons Change. It's just, it's just like his best designed song, best well-written song. You can tell the pain in his voice in most of his songs, like uh, Solitude and um, How Do You Know You and Freak. Like, you can tell the pain in his voice and he makes the most beautiful, beautiful sound out of it. Seasons Change, however, does it very well. And it's the well-designed song of Travis Meeks that everyone should listen to. It is not released on any of these albums. None of these albums have Seasons Change on it. Um, you would have to bootleg, like make your, buy a CD, right? And, uh, just, I mean, this is kind of illegal, but if it's in your own personal use, you burn it on a CD, and you got that Seasons Change uh, song on there. You can put all the other B-sides by Travis Meeks on there as well, because he has a load of them on YouTube. And some of them aren't on YouTube. Some are completely hidden, you know? completely hidden. They're probably out there somewhere on the internet. But, uh, Seasons Change, that's Travis Meek's song. It's just beautifully written. Most of his songs are dealing with isolation and, um, dark themes. You know? Uh, I would say Shelf in the Room is being, like, being pushed. He feels alone and he's being pushed out, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he wants to stay in there, but they won't let him. Touch, Feel, and Stand is about his meth addiction. Uh, I know for a fact it is. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's uh, really good. Really good and dark song uh, from their catalog. Then you got Enemy, uh, Dirty Road. Just, oh man, Dirty Road on this album. It's just the most beautiful version of it, you know? It's just so haunting. It's just, you know, it's great. It's really good. I love this whole album, too. Um, all of them, really. People bash him for his addiction. I kind of don't like that, you know? I don't really like that at all. I don't. No. You shouldn't do that because he deals with that plus the, uh, the syndrome I have 
I mean, this is why I relate to his lyrics and music so much, is because he has Asperger's syndrome as well. So, this is why he's, like, my biggest inspiration, and I relate to his lyrics and music so much, is because we're kind of alike, you know? Except without the addiction. But, you know, that's hard to come by, because a lot of grunge rock stars, right, get mixed up into that stuff. You got Lane Staley, you got... I don't think Chris Cornell did any drugs, but I don't think uh, Eddie Vedder either. Uh, just Kurt and Lane, plenty of other rock stars in the grunge era did it. It's pretty bad. But, you know, you gotta... You know, support him either way. He's alive. He's making music. He's trying to. And that's the only good thing, you know. You gotta keep... You know, I can't talk right now. Um, you just gotta support them where they need it, you know. Love and support to help uh, to help them get better at their, their themselves in their dark times and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. But definitely check out most of his B-Sides, uh, B-Sides album, it's on Last Femme somewhere. Most of them are on there. I also made a playlist if you want to check that out. I have every song, most of them, in my Travis Meek slash Days of the New compilation playlist. If you want to check that out, I'll put it in the description. But definitely check out most of his songs because they're definitely worth listening to. It's just the best grunge band, you know? Best grunge band of the 90s, in my opinion. Um, there's also Dandelion. That is really underrated as well. I just listen to the underrated stuff, you know? I do listen to Soundgarden a lot. Bad Motor Finger being my number one record by them. But, you know, you gotta listen to the underrated stuff. Like Days of the New. Definitely. Go check Seasons Change out. And, uh... His music is just, it, it connects to me. It, it's a connection. I'd rather, I want to be in a band that does the sound of Days of the New, but in origin, original style, original style, I'm not copying their sound. Because uh, I want to be original, but being inspired by Days of the New, of course Nirvana and Soundgarden as well, and some, probably some Jadebirds too. They're they're pretty inspiring to pick up the guitar, you know. But uh, yeah. Travis Meeks, happy birthday! You're just an amazing musician. I relate to you so much. Your music is just mind blowing, wing mind blowing, insanity of coolness. You know? Anyway, have a super chill birthday. You guys stay super chill as well. And, uh, I'll be back with probably a super unknown or bad motor finger review whenever I get those vinyls. Maybe I'll unbox my uh, record player, which is supposed to come back, uh, I mean, come tomorrow. So, maybe I'll unbox that. I, I, if I do have to unbox it, who knows? Anyway, I'll review that whenever that comes, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. As always, if you have anything you want me to review, or something, uh, put a comment below, I'll get to it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.